Welcome, everybody. I think we'll go ahead and get started here. Um, this is our September meeting, and we only have one more all hands meeting for 2023, and that will be uh, somewhere around the 27th, 28th of October. I, um, but thanks so much for joining us today. We're just going to do a couple of quick updates, and then I'm going to hand it off to my colleague Jennifer Kim to take some folks here who have joined us to talk about their experiences at TACX. So first and foremost, we have the communities of practice. I believe a number of y'all have been joining the established one, the cyber infrastructure um, plan community of practice that's been going on for some time. Um, that meets monthly on the third Tuesday of every month at about two at two o'clock in the afternoon Eastern. Uh, we send updated invites uh, a couple of days ahead of the actual meeting. So, you know, stay tuned to see the latest uh, calendar invite for that. And then new for next month, October, being Cybersecurity Awareness Month, we're launching a new cybersecurity community of practice. Last month when we had uh, Jim Basney join us to talk about Trusted CI, we raised with you all who were in attendance the interest level of starting a, a cybersecurity community of practice. There was that interest. And so uh, Trusted CI in collaboration with uh, Stephen Bollinger from North Carolina A&T State University is going to be launching that on the second Tuesday of the month. So next month on October 10th at two o'clock, you should have seen an email from Tenny go out about that the other day and then an invite from me. Uh, we hope y'all will join us and we look forward to kicking that off next month. And just in case we didn't have enough things going on this fall, we are also doing another workshop. Uh, so save the dates. We're going to do, do this a little bit differently this time. We're going to do two different locations in New Orleans. We're going to do a cyber infrastructure day on November 15th at Dillard University. And then we're going to do a cybersecurity oriented day on November 16th at Southern University, in New Orleans. So, you know, if you are in that general vicinity, uh, please stay tuned for more information. We should be getting a skeleton agenda up on the website here in the next little bit and a save the date email going out um, probably early next week, if I had to guess. But mark your calendars and we look forward to hoping to see some of y'all in New Orleans. Also, we're hiring. So if you or know somebody who might be interested in our director of program development position, um, I'm gonna throw that link here in the chat here. You know, please feel free to take a look at the job description, share it with your network, share it with your friends. Um, but we are actively hiring for this position. And with that, I'm gonna turn it over to Jennifer Kim, our cyber infrastructure engineer to sort of tee up what all we had going on last week at TACAX. Jennifer. Yes, hello everyone. Thank you for joining us today. So I wanted to um, just kind of do a quick debrief on TACAX and the um, workshop that we hosted last week. Um, thanks to NSF support, we were able to fund 15 persons to travel to TechX actually and attend the workshop. Um, the workshop was hosted by Jorge Crichingo from University of South Carolina. Um, and the workshop was titled Science DMZ and Networking for All. So in addition to providing an introduction to networks um, and some basic terminology, we also included a hands-on lab component, again, hosted by Univers University of South Carolina, around the utilization of a few tools, uh, mostly Perfsonar. Um, so with us here today, we have two recipients that were able to travel and attend, um, and they are Deshaun Miguel from Toono. Odom Community College, which is in Arizona, and a student, Henry Alamona, from Fisk University, which is in Tennessee. So I will invite you to introduce yourselves and answer the questions that um, we kind of would like to discuss here today. So 
we were we wanted to uh, share with our community why you were interested in going to TechX and specifically why the workshop. Um, one to two things that you've learned from or took away from the workshop specifically. And how did you benefit from also being able to attend um, the broader conference? Um, so with that, I will invite Deshaun to start. Okay. Good morning, everybody. Um, my name is Deshaun Miguel. I am the IT uh, director of IT for Donald Community College. And I've been with the college for almost nine years now. Um, <clears throat> and um, I just want to share my experience being uh, uh, a recipient of the MSCC. I was greatly um, honored to have that opportunity from them and attend TechX for um, the uh, for the, the whole week. So um, I was really I wasn't really prepared for you know everything that um, I was. Uh, you know, I was going to be doing at TechX, so I was trying to get the sessions ready, but I thought, you know, Monday, um, I, uh, as soon as I got there, I had a good feeling about the day, and um, the workshop, I was a little nervous on how that was going to go, but it was a hands-on workshop, and I was really grateful to have that experience um, through um, North, Car North Carolina? Um, yeah, South Carolina. Well, South Carolina. Yeah, and I've I have actually uh, seen a presentation before from them uh, on per persona, and so that was a little helpful to me, um, being no knowing and having that exposure um, previously. So um, I thought it was very technical, um, which is great, and I think it would bring you know some knowledge and uh, resources back to um, TOCC, being that we were a part of a grant that. Um, had a DMZ project going. Um, however, we had run into some barriers. So um, I think just going to that um, workshop helped me in trying to, you know, get things moving to have this, the Perf Sonar and the Science DMZ network established for TOCC. So that was my experience. And then just working, networking overall was, um, good with you know all the community the community and having knowing getting to know people and um know their roles and um just networking and in general was um a plus for, so thank you that's all i have thank you for sharing sean really appreciate that i'm glad you found some benefit in it um and hoping to move some of your project work forward um, and next up, um, Henry, if you could introduce yourself and speak to the same things. Um, hi, my name is Henry, Henry Alamona. I'm a sophomore, computer science, uh, Fisk University in Nashville, Tennessee. And um, I would say I'm very much, I was very much excited, still I'm very much excited that like I get, I go to attend TechX, especially because I'm a, um, um very much interested in cybersecurity and uh that is something I'm trying to do on the side. We don't really have like cybersecurity courses in uh Fisk University. We I mean we did have one time but you know it was um taken away from the curriculum. And as someone who's interested in computer computer networks and protocols, um and as someone who has done projects in web development, I see the importance of having um you know, conferences like this, where you get to meet professionals. Um, so when I saw the opportunity come up, um, this is in regards to the question why I was interested. So when I saw the opportunity come up and I was like, oh, it's it's specifically for, um, you know, the, there's a core and that was computer networking. I really wanted to jump on it because I have tasted a little bit of, you know, just a little bit of network protocol and by like taste it, I'm, I'm saying I didn't really make this up. Like I didn't make up the entire um project myself. I, you know, I kind of have had like boilerplate where I had to work on. So, you know, if I have this tiny knowledge, why don't I attend an event where I would see a lot of professionals who can give me this much knowledge for free? You know, um, I, uh, I would prefer to meet people in person and learn from them in person rather than having to pay for online courses 
where you know they don't have any real relationship with you so it's best for me to it was best for me to like seize this opportunity and connect with as many professionals in the field and uh, connect with as many um other fellows that were attending because i also saw that there were some people from tcus uh everybody some people were there to learn some people were there as professionals some people even came all the way from other continents all over the world and it was a good networking experience that I was going to be get, um, getting so uh, that is why I had to take up on the experience and uh, what was the, t- the takeaways from the tech ex- itself? Um, I would say one of my favorite takeaways was um, the um, uh, the lab we had on Persona. So Persona is basically what checks the uh, you know what enhances the performance and monitors network um, protocols basically, especially especially between routers and. I wouldn't be able to say all of this if I didn't attend the lab. So um, we did a hands-on lab. Uh, it was very much exciting because like everything seemed, you know, very straight to the point, very, the instructions were very direct. And luckily for me, I even spoke to some of the professionals and they, they granted me a, so let's say a special login. So I, I can always log in. And this is, a, this is something you cannot get, you can't get the tech slash um, software anywhere else for free these are things that like you'd have to download and install a lot of programs for it to run and if you don't even have the machines that can run them then there is no way for you to actually practice this but yeah i have it for free you know just by attending and i can even maybe speak to some of my professors that like hey you know if you really want to try something like this or if you feel like you want to teach something like this you can go ahead and use my login so it is to my advantage and to the advantage as well so that was like one of my major takeaways um and then my you know overall i would say attending the the conference in general it really helped me like understand people's uh, perspective especially on the last day when we had this little um you know intro and then we talked about the things we do on the sides it was very much exciting and engaging um uh yeah i would say in general the networking experience was something i would really uphold because um uh, I, I understand how important networking is in the in the industry regardless of what um, field so i did make some relationships and i would say that was one of my major um, benefits from this whole tech uh, from the whole conference in general i had a i had a few contacts i have some people's emails i can reach out to a lot of people i need information from um technical or non-technical or you know when especially when it comes to like business culture and knowing how like um, you know, just integrating myself into the um, business culture and, you know, just knowing how things actually operate, regardless of um, our fields. So, yeah. Thank you for sharing. So I want to go back to one thing that you said. Um, so you mentioned that Jorge had given you access, right, to this, to the environment, which is hosted in NetLab. Um, mm mm-hmm. And he also gave you, if I'm correct, access to this, like the cybersecurity labs that they have. Um, yeah. As well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He did uh, because I think I was saying I was mentioning something about I wanted to learn cybersecurity and then practice while I am learning because most of the most of the programs you see online are just more like um theor- like theoretical um learning experience. So it was more like because I'm hands I'm very much hands on. So I wanted. Uh, I wanted um something that was going to be more engaging, like, you know, do as you see or see as you do type of experience. So I had told him, like, hey, you know, I'm interested in learning more about this. You know, if it's something I can't get the education from in school or if I can't get them from uh, um, maybe like online platforms like Udemy Coursera, is there a way I can actually access this and then, you know, practice on my own? And they were all cool. They were like, oh, yeah, sure. And then they added the materials. And he um said I can still retain my login information, and then he also shared me shared with me his contact. And like I said, that's if there is nothing I took away, that is one of the major things I will really, really, really appreciate. That's great. So I have to ask. I know it's only been a week, but have you poked around in the cybersecurity labs at all? I'm curious for myself, honestly. <laughs> okay, to be to be quite honest, you know, we had to take one week off of school. So I've just been doing more school catching up, but I'm definitely going to make time for it because um I usually I usually have like a schedule when I do technical practice, I have a schedule when I do extracurricular practice, I have a schedule for I have a schedule for like 
different practices. So the times I've been using for my technical practice have been consumed by catching up with school. But eventually, I'm definitely sure, like, you know, before the middle of October, I should have gone through, like, a good number of um, the items on the courses. I tried logging in on my on my system, and I still have I still have an access. I still even see, like, the previous two labs we did. They are still there, so I can revisit it, break it, you know, redo it. And, yeah, I think that's going to be, like, a very good learning experience for me. Yeah, that's the beauty of that environment, right? If you if you break it beyond repair, just start over. <laughs> then start over, yes. And the instructions are just very clear. Just straight to the point. Yes. Oh, do this, skip this, do this, skip this. And then they always have like a little box that explains why you are skipping this or explains why you're doing this. So, yeah. Great. Thank you. I'm glad that you found it valuable and, um, you know, really took away. Sounds like you took away a lot out of it. So I'm yeah. happy to hear that. And I'm sure others are happy as well. So thank you. Um, and with that, so I, I guess I will open it now up to the floor. If anybody has any questions for um, these folks who joined us today um, about their experience, either with TechX or the workshop um, itself. Um, can I say something? Of course, yes. Okay. I wanted to ask, or I wanted to, I don't know if it's, I don't know how the, it was structured and I don't know how budgets were uh, distributed, but I wanted to ask if it was possible that like, if something like this was going to happen again, if we can have maybe more like, you know, just a little more number of students um, because I think there were just three of us and one of them um, wasn't really present for like uh, the, the hands-on lab. So I felt in my own perspective, Gen Z, in my own perspective, so I would, we kind of learn or we kind of feel more comfortable or more, you know, in a relaxed headspace or atmosphere to want to learn when we see people that are like from our age, from maybe from our age group, from our class group or peers, you know, that are also in the same space with us. If they are learning faster or slower, it doesn't really matter as long as we have like people that we can relate with. If they're learning faster, then you probably would actually want to even, you know, make us want to like, oh yeah, you actually you actually have to catch up. But if there are more professionals in the room and they're everybody's doing everything right, you might want to give yourself an excuse that like, oh yeah, they're all professional. So yeah, it's it's okay if they're getting it right and I'm not. You know, so I like I said, I don't know how the budgets were distributed and everything, but like maybe hopefully if they if maybe like we have something like this again and we have like space for more um, students. No, I really appreciate that. Thank you. Yes. Um, well, I'm going to also turn some of that back to you. Share share these opportunities with your friends, right? <laughs> and yeah, and I did actually. I actually did. It's just well, you can't really tell who actually right. does apply behind you. So, <laughs> well, I did. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you. So keep that's that would be my only ask. You keep doing that, and we we'll, you know when as these opportunities do come up. We will absolutely share that out um, and and hope that everyone here does the same with their communities. Um, so yeah, that's a that's a great takeaway. It's 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 really beneficial for students, and we want more students to come. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so I also see here. I'm gonna pick on some people in the audience. Um, I see Al, you are here, and I believe you did attend the session as well. So if you would like, I would invite you to um kind of just give your thoughts and your perspective so we heard from you know Deshaun and, and a student Henry um I'd be happy to hear yours as well hello everyone Al Anderson I'm the chief information officer for Salish Kootenai College uh I'm also on the uh, leadership board for the MSCC so I kind of I attended that session it wasn't I wasn't on a, a pay I, I didn't get it paid by MSCC actually it's part of a grant that I got the the part of the pilot I guess that's the POCG grants that we got to attend these conferences we're we're spending money out of there um my experience at the at the um at the workshop was I I think we have to be honest we have some work to do I think it was very productive in a very technical manner and open a lot of eyes to what 
is required to, you know, do something like a, a science DMZ adequately and appropriately, um, especially perf sonar. Um, so that portion of it and using those labs was a great experience. And I, I appreciate uh, the folks sharing from South Carolina. They're sharing, sharing their knowledge and, and access to their resources in everything there. Um, overall, for TechX, I, I think a huge value for, for attending TechX is the community building. I mean, the hallway conversations are, are the best part of TechX, where you just get to know people better. Um, the MSCC people got, you know, to kind of get together a, a number of times um, and, and just, you know, hear stories and, and share experiences and those kind of things. And it's a super value, valuable experience that way. Um, I, I see moving forward that we can do uh, more of these kind of workshop things and you know, having students attend is 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 a critical component of this because they're they're the future. I mean, some of us are you know ready to move on to other things, or and we need the young people to kind of jump in there and 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 have that knowledge to move these things kind of moving forward. So uh, that's about all I have to share right now. But thank you. Thank you for sharing. Um, so I see a question about how large the gathering was. So I believe there were about 20 people in the room. Is that true, Tenny? Um, I'll let you. Oh, yeah. Okay. And uh, are there future dates? So we don't have this specific workshop slated again, but we are definitely interested in hosting another one um, specifically with Jorge again to provide some of that technical content um, in, a, in a great lab environment. Um and I also did want to call, I mean, I know we already spoke about it, but there is that cyber infrastructure and cyber inf a cybersecurity day um, in NOLA that was on the slides earlier, which is November 15th and 16th. So that um, I think is going to be our next kind of workshop type day. Um, any other questions from the audience or comments? Um, I guess I have one comment to say well, regarding student like opportunities, um, what Henry was saying, um, it is up to the students to like, you know, help us get more student engagement. So thank you for also just help, like telling your students, and I'm not telling your students, telling your friends and all that kind of email, email me about that. But yeah, just encourage them, tell them about your experience and let them know more about MSCC because that's our goal to have more student engagement. All right. And Deshaun, did you have anything else that you wanted to share? Um, no, no, I don't have anything. Okay, Thank you. that's okay. Um, and I know, so also at TechX, we had a great panel. Um, I heard a lot of great, I was in the, I saw the panel and I heard a lot of great things um, outside of it as well. It was a cyber, cyber infrastructure um, advancement designed by and for HBCUs and TCUs. Um, and it was a really engaging panel. Um, and I think the audience really was engaged twofold. One, because it was like-minded persons, but also I think there was interest in hearing um, from a different perspective than, than you would normally hear from. Um, if anyone went to that panel or was part of it and would like to speak to that, um, I think that would be great to share as well. I just wanted to um, comment on that, um, Jennifer. Um, I did sit in the panel and I thought it was really interesting to hear from the HBCUs um, and what they have been experiencing. They do go through every day. And I, it's, it's nothing, it's very similar to what we're dealing with in the TCU community. And um, I just um, hope like, you know, the MSCC can support us in both ways to, um, get us, you know, the technical knowledge and just like had, El had, had explained that there's, you know, um, staff who 
we've retained for so long and um, just, you know, passing down that knowledge and having a successor take on that role. And I think that's very critical, you know, with my um, career and how long I've been with the college. And that's something certainly I don't want to leave, um, you know, empty handed as I if I were to move forward in my career. And um, I'm I'm like 30. I'm 30, but I, I still feel like, you know, there's um, the 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 generation behind us is capable of handling these roles it's just you know a matter of having that change and I know the a lot of staff at TOCC are reluctant to change so I I'm just hoping that we that the, maybe there's could be some support and resources on how we can could um make that change maybe with staff faculty engagement um something of those sorts of like I guess sessions that would be help our our staff and faculty on 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 change <clears throat> sure maybe even finding some common ground right to move forward on um and yeah sure just age is just a number right you've been there for a long time like you said Deshaun and with that comes a lot of institutional knowledge right so you've worked in a few different roles, right? You've worked your way up and there's there's a lot to be said about that um, and a lot that you have to pass on. So yes, absolutely. Do you want to be on our next panel? No. <laughs> All right, Jennifer, Deshaun, Henry, and Al, we really appreciate y'all coming in and sharing what all you took away from last week's um, conference and the workshop itself. With that, I think we can give people time back to their days. Who is going to argue with having some time back? I didn't think I'd hear any arguments on that. Thank y'all so much for joining us this month. Um, stay tuned for next month's final all hands meeting for of 2023, which will be on the 26th of October. And we will be sending updated calendar invites to you all in advance of that. And if you're having trouble with your calendar invites, please don't hesitate to let Tenny or myself know about that so that we can get that fixed up for you, all right? All right, y'all, thank you so much. Bye-bye.